Welcome to Sigmund 2, a Shoyken.com's video review series of the Mad Cats Flight Stick Tournament Edition. My name is Jim Nguyen, also known as Shin Jae In. In this video, I will be giving you a tour of the inside of this joystick. I will also be bringing out components from companies such as HAP, IL, Sanwa, and Simitsu to show you which ones fit and do not fit inside this case. Hopefully, this will answer the many questions asked by former users out there. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I will be back in a few seconds. See you soon. So here it is, the Mad Cats Fight Stick Tournament Edition. Uh, without further de delay, let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, just a reminder, this will void your warranty if you do proceed to do this on your own. Uh, to open this up, we're going to start with a 3mm hex key to remove these six bolts here. It's very easy, nothing too complicated. Only problem is you're finding a uh, a metric hex key. Now, with everything you take apart in this stick, you want to keep it in a plastic parts bin. Uh, it's very easy to lose uh, random screws, random bolts, and various small parts. So it's easier to just keep it on one plastic bin or a Altoids can or any type of plastic container that you won't lose easily. That's a pro tip from a, a long time modder. Keep everything in a plastic bin. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up the control panel and see what we have inside. I took the liberty of removing the wires and quick disconnects from the buttons and the 5 pin connector from the joystick. So let's put this to the side for the, mo for the moment and uh, go over what we have here. So the top control panel rests on top of this red bezel. Let's go ahead and remove that. And this is pretty much what the inside looks like. Since I removed the top, let's go ahead and remove the bottom. So this is what the bottom of the stick looks like. You got four rubber feet, six screws, and a sticker right here. I call this the, the bait sticker because somebody online has been tricked. Open the stick from the bottom. Let me grab my drill here. Take your screws, throw them in your plastic container. Now let me show you why they call this warranty the bait sticker. Let's open this up. And what do you get? Nothing. You got baited if you went through the bottom first. As you can see, there's not much you can access here. If anything, you can access the joystick compo uh, compartment and pull out a couple quick disconnects. But other than that, there's uh, no other component you can easily reach if you went through the bottom. As you see here, there are several screw screws here. These screws hold the inside frame, which is pretty much this plate here. This piece right here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these screws and before I do, I might need to get my pencil or pen and uh, provide some tick marks so I know exactly where these go later on. If you have a camera, that will help too. Just take a camera so you know exactly what it looks like. So let me mark these real quick. Now let's remove the screws. <laughs> so 
So after you remove the screws, you can see that this inside frame comes out. But it is held into place by these six tabs on the side. But it's easily removable. Just pull one side out first, as so. And pull the other side out. Simple as that. So I'm gonna grab my loose screw here so I don't lose it. And take the rest and throw them into my plastics uh, part container. And let me remove the microphone cable. There you have it. The inside frame of the tournament edition.